This is Code Combat. I'm on Behavior Driven Development level. It's part of their Game Development 1 course, level 15. Goals. Win the game. That makes sense. Archers should defend. Ogres should attack nearest. Skeleton should scamper. Don't move. Don't remove enemies or add friends. Oh. You can change a unit's behavior by setting its behavior property. Skeleton 3 dot behavior. Oh, the skeleton's behavior equals scampers will make the skeleton stored in skeleton 3 variable move around randomly okay random movement skeleton 3 behavior attack nearest will attack the enemies the nearest enemies uh, and skeleton 3 is the variable we create to name that skeleton skeleton 3 dot behavior equals defends will attack only if an enemy comes close wow this is a lot the skeleton three dot behavior equals runs away and notice they're all in quotes will ooh and we would need to capitalize that a will make the unit run away from a player make sure to pick the right variable like skeleton three ogre two ogre three or archer one all right so okay i see we have a comment comments are these things with a hashtag at the beginning code or computers skip over it when you uh hit run Therefore, humans assign behaviors to the unit with a behavior property. Okay, I'm going to just delete this just to see if we can get all the code on one page. Okay, spawn skeleton. And this is where we're naming the skeleton, skeleton one, skeleton two, skeleton three. I can also name this, I mean, anything, right? It's a variable, mean skull. Sure. Okay, and then if I do name this mean skull, ah, let's capitalize S just to be clear, mean skull, uh, what that is equal to game dot spawn X, Y skeleton, and then the skeleton spawned at this X and Y location. Remember, there's an invisible graph underneath our game board, right? This being X on the horizontal, this being Y vertically. If I go way down here, I think I can find zero, zero. Okay, so mean skull is now equal to the skeleton we spawn at 6012. Skeleton 2 is the new name of the skeleton we spawn at 6030. That way, we don't have to write this out every time we want to change a property. We can just write skeleton 2, and the computer knows what we mean. All right, assign scampers to skeleton's 3's behavior. Okay, so what we can do there is just like above we can make that equal to scampers. I'm going to go ahead and set this, though, back to skeleton 3, just for clarity's sake. Um, so we need to type skeleton 3. Okay, did I do that right? Is that what they named it? No caps, yes. Dot behavior property is what we're going to reference. Equals, and then in quotes, scampers. Okay, so that's a start. And then Ogre 1, okay. Um, and again, I am, you don't need to do this. I'm doing this just to try to get our code on one page. Ogre 1, so now Ogre 1 equals this. And we don't have to keep writing all of this to change Ogre, that Ogre's behavior. We can reference Ogre 1, Ogre 2, Ogre 3. Ogre 1, attack nearest. Assign attack nearest to Ogre 2. Oh, there's more code down there. Okay, um... So let's do ogre two dot behavior equals and then in quotes attacks nearest and make sure to capitalize the n make sure it's attacks not attack nearest what's wrong here ogre two oh and that's why we got to spell things right ogre two there we are attack nearest. Assign attack nearest to ogre three. Alrighty. Ogre three dot behavior equals, and then in quotes, once again, attack and make sure it's capitalized because that is what we need. Has to be exact. Alright. And that should take care of our attacks. Oh my goodness. This has a lot of code. Okay. Assign defense to archer dot one dot behavior right so we spawn this archer this x and y location and name it archer one so now i can go archer one equals and then i can say oh 
I need dot behavior, I'm assuming, because that's how we did this above. Um, defends equals, and so let's make sure to capitalize this, and that should do that. Okay. And now don't need to change anything below here, but feel free to take a look. Wow, that is a lot of health. Uh, attack damage, that's okay. We're making this a forest, medium. All right, let's see, um, let's hit run and see. Uh, Archer, that's me, okay. So what am I doing? Ooh, where's, uh, Archer, help. What? This is taking a while. Is my Archer gonna help here? Do I have to be further away? Oh no, that was not good. Is that... No? Yes? Ooh, that's not good. Alright, let's see. Attack, attack, scampers. Are we missing anything? Archers should defend. Okay. Archer, spawn archer. Oh, that's why. Dot. Oh, and a misspelling. All right, remember, it has to be exact. All right, let's try that again. Um, uh, come on, guys. Let's do this, Archer. Go! 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 Oh, that was quirk. Aha! And we got it. So let's just take a look. Um, I'm just going to get rid of the comments so we can see more of the code. Yeah, good Joop. and then joop. okay so what we were doing is changing these behavior properties um, make sure though you got the variable names that they had up here exactly the same otherwise it won't work and this proved true we didn't mess with that at all we didn't need to um, so this is what uh, we had to do we had to change these behavior properties for our um, different spawned uh, allies, enemies, and so on. Oh, and it looks like the keep going disappeared because I edited the code, but we got it right and we can move on.